With Ryzen 1st and 2nd gen, we saw that memory speed really affected performance. More so with 1st gen than 2nd gen. And with all the changes with Zen 2, or Ryzen 3000, has brought with the Infinity Fabric, it's really changed how the cores interact with the memory. So basically, I just wanted to see how memory speeds and the dividers on the Infinity Fabric affect performance. So a few rules here I tried to stick with. So CPU frequency, I just left everything stock. There's not a whole lot to gain overclocking the Ryzen 3000 CPUs. As far as the fabric clock, I left it to a ratio of 1 to 1, unless stated otherwise. So for example, when I tested the uh, ratio settings. I also don't have a ton of memory kits. So I'm just going to be using a single kit. It's a B-Die single-sided 8GB per stick kit. I'm also going to be using the JDAC 2400 speed as a sort of baseline to compare all the other speeds with. This is basically the same speed that you're going to default to when you just stick some sticks of memory in your motherboard and turn it on. So no XMP, no anything. Along with uh, the JDAC 2400, I also tested 3200 CL14, 3800 CL14, and this is all done on a 3700X and a X570 Tai Chi. And for the GPU, we're going to be using a RTX 2070. So, in the synthetic benchmarks between these two speeds, we can totally see quite a bit of difference. I would have said we would have saw all more difference, and 3200 CL14 settings in gaming, naturally at max settings, the GPU is going to be doing most of the work. So we don't really see any big differences. I'd say it's exactly the same. But at low settings, naturally CPU is going to have more work to do, because the GPU is waiting for the CPU, and so faster memory does give you a small improvement. I would have assumed it would have gave us more improvement and low graphic settings we did see the same sort of improvement that we saw between the 2400 and the 3200 CL14 but I have to say 3800 CL14 is highly overclocked and honestly this sort of results for such a high overclock is a little bit of a letdown. Um, now let's move on to the memory dividers. So originally I wanted to use 3800 CL14 and do a 2 to 1 ratio but it just wouldn't boot no matter what on the Tai Chi here. So instead I'll be using 3200 CL14. So the memory clock is 1600, half of that, or 2 to 1, is 800. So that's how we got to 800. And it's absolutely horrible. It's just horrible. There's no way around it. Just stock settings with no XMP, no anything is better. I have no clue why you would run a divider if these are the results you're getting. So even if you're running something like 4,000 plus megahertz, just based on this, you're going to be doing better at 3200 CL14 than say 4,000 with a divider of 2 to 1. Now given 4,000 kits are expensive and 3200 CL14 B die kits are, well, they're, they're a little bit cheaper than 4,000 plus kits, right? The standard JDX speeds aren't all that bad if you're actually using high graphic settings. I guess what I'm getting from this is if you want high graphic settings, you don't really need fast memory. Like if, you, if you're throwing an RTX 2070 and a 3700X into a build, you're gonna play everything on high. You might, maybe you care about something more than your memory. Now, if you're looking at something uh, I want I want that 144 hertz refresh for monitor, so I gotta put my 1080p on low. Then yeah, okay, maybe you want some faster memory. The real point of this is that in gaming, this memory doesn't seem to matter with Ryzen 3000. So unless you're doing something like Premiere, After Effects, um, you know, you're using all your memory as a like a RAM drive or something, you know, where where memory speed matters, memory transfer rate matters, those, and those kind of applications. A VM if you have tons of VMs then okay yeah go get the fastest memory you can afford honestly I don't think it's really worth it for if you're gonna game on anything near high settings in a video game probably not gonna matter too much so I hope this sheds some light on which memory you might want to pair with a Zen 2 CPU maybe you save some money on some memory and put it towards something else like a better GPU or CPU cooler eh, whatever so I hope this was helpful, and until next time, bye.